It's 1953 and molecular biologists Francis Crick and James Watson have been working to understand how genetic material is stored in cells. They see this picture taken by researchers at King's College London and figure out that DNA is shaped like a spiral staircase. The X pattern on this X-ray image tells you that the structure is helical and it was that information from the X-ray diffraction pattern that uh, led Watson and Crick in Cambridge to be able to um, build their, their double helical model. A letter written by Crick to his son sold earlier this month at auction for six million dollars. In it he describes the double helix structure of DNA as beautiful. The scientists knew DNA had to have some way of copying itself, passing genetic information from old cells to new ones. They decided this was most likely to be achieved if the DNA was formed by two strands. When these divided, they take with them the same genetic information to create two new but identical copies of the same genetic code. DNA information has become the basis of crime scene forensic testing. It can be used to identify illnesses and for the screening of birth defects. Only by understanding its structure has the genetic modification of crops like cotton been possible. The development of cheaper and faster DNA sequencing technology means routine DNA tests could soon be done to identify those most at risk of developing certain diseases. Cancer is a disease caused by faulty genes, so understanding basically how DNA works, how it's copied, how our genes are read, all of that stemmed from the discovery of the structure of DNA, and that has really completely changed our understanding of the causes of cancer, how we can diagnose it, and how we can treat it. The discovery of the structure of DNA 60 years ago marked the beginning of a scientific and technological revolution, the potential of which will likely shape the future. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.